let's move on to SOP and POS forms for writing SOP POS forms first of all we are having input okay suppose ABC are your possible inputs and having these possible combination of values over here okay now each possible combination has a distinct output which is given by y over here okay each possible combination has a distinct output now what we are going to do this is your input this is your output we are going to write the value of m okay we will write m0 this is your m1 m2 m3 so and so forth okay you write it in such fashion now for writing sop which is sum of products okay we are taking that output into consideration whose logic is one okay output that output which has logic as one okay here you can see one m3 m5 m6 and m7 okay so your sop would be m3 5 6 and 7 here you can see 3 5 6 and 7 okay so you're writing in this fashion then your y equals to m3 plus m5 plus m6 plus m7 now you have to write this how we are going to write this as per our min term logic okay if you have any problem regarding min term and max term do check out my previous video i will be linking that in the description box so make sure you check the description box for min term we use dot and 0 is complemented while 1 remains uncomplemented so let's talk about m3 here you see it is m3 here we are having a as 0 so it will be complemented okay then we have b and c as 1 so they will remain uncomplemented okay now for writing m5 we have m5 over here here you see a and c are 1 so they will remain uncomplemented okay a and c are remain uncomplemented while b is 0 so it will be complemented okay so this is the rule you are going to follow for m6 and m7 as well so this is how you are writing sop form okay sum of product okay here these are your products product product and product and you are summing it up so it is sum of products now we shall be discussing pos form okay for pos form we are taking that output into consideration whose logic is zero okay just the vice versa of sop form we have pos form here we are taking that logic into consideration whose value is zero okay so let's see what are the zeros over here here you can see m0 m1 m2 and m4 okay so for writing pos we are having 0 1 2 4 here you can see 0 1 2 and 4 these are the zero okay for pos we are taking that output whose logic is zero so these are your zeros then you write them in such fashion okay one more thing you have to keep in mind that for sop form you write small m and for pos you write capital m okay so it will be written as m0 m1 m2 and m4 over here now for writing these funders you need to follow max term over here we use plus and one is complemented okay so the first thing we are having here is m0 okay m0 you can say all are zero so none of them would be complemented as you can see none of them are complemented and we are using plus okay with regards to min term and max term do check out my video which is linked in the description box so you write this because it is product of sum okay so it is this product this is your sum this is your sum this is your sum and this is your sum and you are producting it okay you're multiplying it so this is what we are going to do now the second one is m1 okay if you see m1 over here your c is 1 okay so this will be complemented your c will be complemented and a and b will remain as it is okay your c will be complemented while a and b will remain as it is so is the case with m2 and m4 as well okay when you write this you get the pos form okay for this particular table over here this is your sop form and this is your pos form okay you have to keep in mind that sop follows min term and pos follows max term okay and max term one is complemented in min term zero is complemented so this is all for sop and pos form